All right, let's find the extreme values of this, this guy right here. Now we have f, we know we're going to have to do f of 1, and we know we're going to have to do f of 4, okay? Be, how do I know? Because they're in our interval. We have a closed interval, so that means we're going to have to test those, those points on the outside. Um, now we've got to take the derivative of this. So we've got to find f prime so that we can set it equal to 0. To find f prime, we go to x, because, you know, we drop the exponent, use the power rule. The next one, we're going to have 8 times 1 over x. Which I wouldn't write it like that. I would write it as 8 over x. This equals f prime. So what we're going to do is set this equal to 0 and then, excuse me, solve it. You guys know what to do? Let's just do something. I mean, let's get rid of that fraction. What can we multiply everything by to get rid of that fraction? X. Okay, so if I multiply everything by X, X. Then I get um, 2x squared minus 8 equals 0, right? And then I'm going to add 8 to both sides, so I'll have 8 right there, and I'll have 2x squared right there. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to get that, and then I finally get x equals plus or minus 2. Uh, what's wrong with one of these numbers? Yeah, we get positive 2 and negative 2. Negative 2 is not in our interval, right? That guy's not in our interval. So we're going to have to find f of 2. Now there's one more um, point that we need to consider, but our interval actually eliminates. Um, is there a value of x that will make this undefined? Zero. Zero. Because that would make this one undefined, right? It wouldn't work. So zero would be another point that we would have to try because um, it would be um, that zero is a number that will make the derivative undefined. Wherever the derivative is undefined, you got to try that also. But why do I not have to try zero? It's not in the interval that we're given. Okay, so let's erase them back. We don't need you. I just want to make sure I stress the, the, the testing of the undefined uh, critical points and then the ones that give you zero. All right. So, shall we plug these in? No, plug in the Desmos again. Okay, I'll do that in a second, Munchkin. We're going to go and plug one into these guys. Um, we have f of 1, so it's going to be 1 squared minus 8 natural log of 1. Oh, man, I don't want to find that. Wait, you guys know what natural log of 1 is? 1? No, not quite. Wait, it's zero. Yeah. Why is it zero? Um, I know you guys want to review this, right? Log base E oh is the same as natural log. Okay? Now, I'm going to use log base E because most of you guys will remember it better this way. Um, the question is, what does this equal? Okay? So, um, do you remember what the, like, how to make this in the exponential form? Yeah. Okay, what is the base? It's E. What's the exponent? Question mark. And what's our answer? One. So E raised to what power gives me one? Zero. zero. That's how we know it's zero. So we say. Okay, so this is this right here is zero. So zero times eight is zero. So that's just gone. I get one squared. So this is one. Alright, you guys all cool? Now the other ones we're gonna have to use a, a calculator because we're gonna get decimals. Um, let's go to decimals and do this. All right, um, where are you, Desmos? All right, it showed up in the right screen this time? Okay, we don't need you anymore, but I am going to use you. We're going to make you into a 1, and then you into a 4. That's our interval. Okay, now uh, it was x, was it x squared? Yeah. yeah. Right. And then plus 8 natural log, which is... Minus 8. Whoops, minus 8. Okay, natural log, so just... Minus a natural log of x, boom shakalaka. Can you guys see it? All right. Um, did we did we have two as one of our critical points? Yeah. Yes. yeah. He looks like the minimum, and then we have this guy right there. He's right on the the bottom of our interval, our closed interval, and he's at the top. So we got our values. We already got that one. We need the negative one point five five, and what was the other one? 
And you would find this by using a calculator. What's the other way around? Uh, one nine. Like this. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh, yeah. I got it mixed up here. Okay. That guy goes down there. And then we got uh, the other one was 4.91. All right. So you can clearly see which one's your max and which one's your min. We just identified the extrema for this uh, natural log function.